hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chimaima today i'm going to give advice to funai mbbs aspirants if that's what you're here for let's get started in no particular order the first thing i'm going to tell you is congratulations on getting mbbs admission it's not easy at all you should know that funai is a federal medical institution and then you should know that the federal teaching hospital that's being used by funai is the federal teaching hospital located in abakaliki and one more thing you should know is that from your 100 level to 300 level you're going to be located in eco local government area that's um, kind of a village that's about let's say let's say 30 minutes to an hour journey from the village eco to abakaliki but then when you're now looking at the journey from the preclinical campus to the clinical campus then we're talking about about an hour because the clinical campus is located in the city in the heart of abakaliki town funai is a very serious school so if you're not ready to sit your ass down and read your books you're going to fall by the wayside and i am not joking about this next thing i need you to know is that whatever you write is what you're going to get if you deserve to pass that course you're going to pass that course just make sure you write whatever it is that the lecturer is expecting of you if you've not seen my whole series on how to answer questions in exams go see it i'll put the link up for you to a whole playlist one more thing i think you should know is that Funa has spoiled too. <laughs> it is not my time that things were not that rampant. Now, paying to pass is now a very rampant thing. But then, if you're watching me right now, for God's sake, you're going to be a medical doctor. For those who want to leave the country, you write IELTS and PLAB and USMLE. If you cannot pass our normal anatomy, physiology, biochemistry questions in preclinicals or the physics and chemistry and biology in 100 level, is it the USMLE and PLAB that you're going to pass? Just sit down, read your book. You're going to pass if you actually put in the work. Trust me on that. Don't get yourself involved in all these backyard duties. You are going to be a medical doctor. So act like it. One more thing that you should know is that FUNAI does not joke with practical attendance. You see that 75% attendance. If you don't make it, you are not going to write that exam. So make sure that you attend all your practicals. Make sure, in fact, you should have 100% attendance. Don't allow yourself getting involved in anything that will make you to miss practicals. And then make sure you're with your lab coat at all times without lab coat you're not going to be allowed anywhere close to the practical lab prepare yourself for everything that is going to be needed of you to attend practicals one more thing is the practical manuals don't joke with practical manual they carry so much marks 100 level practicals is a whole course on its own that if you feel practical chemistry or you feel practical biology you're not going anywhere you're going to repeat 100 level because of just one practical chemistry or physics that you failed so don't joke with your practical, especially in 100 level. Then for preclinicals, your biochemistry practical, physiology practicals, um, and histology stroke, gross practicals, very, very important as well. For anatomy, I think practicals carry 20% of the whole 100 marks. For physiology and biochemistry, practicals are a whole course on their own. So don't start failing your MB by failing practicals in 200 level and, and third in course. Don't do it. One more thing you should know is that in 100 level, you will be given assignments. You will write inception quiz. You write mystery semester exams. Prepare yourself ahead and make sure you don't miss any of these things. Try to resume as early as possible if you get the admission on time. If you've not seen my whole series on advice for 100 level medical students, a whole place on its own, I'll put a link up for you so that you see all those nitty gritty. Now I'm talking about full night students only. In full night, we write inception quiz, we write mid semester exams, and then the lecturers will still give you assignments. Don't joke with it at all. You see that 10, 10 marks inception quiz is very important. It's usually on the second week of school resumption. But I know for 100 level students, I don't think 100 level first semester you write inception quiz. No, you won't. It's mid semester you write. But for second semester 100 level, you're going to write that inception quiz. So don't joke with inception quiz, mid semester exam, and then the main, main exam. If you fail, just know that you're repeating 100 level. No two ways about it. Now, for the preclinicals, well, you don't have to worry about the semester exam and inception quiz and all. All you write is just the in course, that's the end of semester exam. When the BSc students are writing the inception quiz and all, you're just be chilling like a boss that you are. Yes, then if, if they give you assignment in your 200 and, and 300 level, for me, I never did any assignment though. I never did any. I don't know if things have changed now. I don't think assignments are that important because the exam that you're writing at the end of your semester is over 100. So I don't see why a lecturer will stress a student by writing assignment. It is not like 100 level. 100 level assignments are extremely important. But 200 and 300 level, nah, I'll pass. But then if they give an assignment in preclinicals, you should know it because it can come out in the exam. But then as for marking the assignment and grading it, oh, I don't know, maybe things have changed. And one more thing you should know is that gross practical, those people are very strict. 
if they say patuka is 2 a.m in the morning make sure you are there before that 2 a.m don't come late you get yourself involved in unnecessary begging in fact it's i think it's only physiology practical that they are not so strict even by chemistry practical too they are very strict so don't joke with them at all make sure you're there on time make sure you're well dressed with your shoes no slippers no sandals for practicals make sure you wear shoes that cover up your feet then for histology please go with your phone do it discreetly though snap every single slide that they show you in your histology because that is what you're, you're also going to see in histology steeple chase so any practical slide they show you make sure you snap it and label accordingly and make a pdf of it because you're gonna need it when it's time for in course mock and mb another thing i'm going to tell you is past questions oh my god do not joke with past questions they repeat questions a lot in preclinicals although in clinicals i'm sorry my dear <laughs> maybe by the time you get to clinicals there should be past questions for you and they, they should repeat past questions in clinicals but you see 100 level and then preclinicals 200 and 300 level grab past questions where unfortunately i don't have them anymore but ask your course rep ask your classmates there are past questions flying about you should get it and practice it before every exam one more thing i'm going to advise is that you should stay off camp but that is if you have the money honestly if you can afford it please just stay off camp because the hostel is a whole mess it's in fact i won't even wish even my enemy to stay in hostel if you've not seen my whole series on off camp hostel pros and cons i'll put the link up for you you should see it so that you weigh your options and know if you'd rather stay off camp or rather stay in hostel then if at all you choose to stay in hostel if you've not seen my hostel preclinical hostel um tour i'll put the link up for you to see it please you see that video no carry and whole body what i mean is that was as a 2021 this is 2024 the hostel is spoiled things have changed students have spoiled it is now in fact maintenance is a very huge issue so it's not as conducive as it was in my own time so please don't use that video of 2021 to judge what you are going to see if you choose to stay in hostel but then if you want to stay off camp you should know that hostel payment is compulsory you pay for hostel and still pay off camp and off camp accommodation is very expensive like 200k and above to get a very good accommodation that you would stay in as close to school so if you want to stay off camp have your money available and then transport to put that no when you watch these videos you see things you should consider if you if you choose to stay in hostel or off camp if you have the money stay off camp i beg whatever good that hostel will give to you to me is not worth it then you should know that in clinicals you're going to stay off camp for clinicals hostel is first come first serve it's like survival of the fittest which i will still not even advise you to stay in it's not as conducive as you think well the thing about hostel and clinic house is that the hostel is located in one particular hospital that's feta one meanwhile you you have practicals in feta two have persons in feta two so you have to pay that 300 naira transport to and 300 naira transport back to the hostel if you're staying in hostel so i would advise you either stay close to feta one or stay close to feta two or better still just stay in the hostel if you can afford that 300 000 hostel fee stay in the hostel for now they are staying six in a room things may change but they are still building new hostels so hopefully things will be better but i'm staying off camp and i don't have any regret because where i'm staying i can easily check to one of the hospitals so if i have class or anything the other hospital i just have to pay my way to the other hospital so wherever you stay you will still pay transport if you stay in the school hostel that is close to one particular hospital you will still pay transport to the second hospital if whatever you're doing is at the second hospital so wherever you stay you will still pay the transport you can't escape it my dear and transport in abakaliki is very expensive oh my god guys i am so sorry this video is so long so so long i'll upload the next part of this video next week bye